Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. So we're still trying to get 2 billion, uh, 2 million studs, and so since there's not really anything we can do until we do that, we are gonna just roll, run around and, uh, blow up silver things in this case, but, uh, we're just running around Manhattan trying to grind out studs. Uh, I could play the levels, certainly, then I haven't played the DLC levels, and then that would give me a probably faster experience to getting gold. Um, but I kind of have to question if I need that con I need that gold to uh, purchase characters. Like there's two ways this goes you either have a scenario where the um, let's see if we can switch to Ultron and use Ultron to open this panel yeah Ultron's like the perfect person to play as isn't he Ultron and Vision see when you get gold bricks he tosses out a little bit of that. Does Ultron have a... Hmm. Okay, so... It does seem like Ultron also has a Hydra scanning ability. Hmm. But the only thing he doesn't have is the transforming ability. And the access granted in that Hydra panel seemed to really do nothing. Hmm. There's ways to play this if you only had vision and you had enough studs to purchase Ultron. But. Yeah, Ultron is great. He flies. Does he have a laser beam? Yes, he does. He is the Darth Vader character. I don't know why I'm taking a special effort to break things, though. That's just a waste of time. Yeah, here, here's a parking lot example that really goes to show... Um, how I really would have liked starting with this game, which I consider one of the third generation games, uh, Lego games. I would have liked to see a lot more studs, a, a lot more little things randomly placed, a lot more things to break. A lot, even in this car parking lot, th this should be practically full of every single Lego car that exists in the overworld and it just isn't uh, even if you would have to repeat cars fairly frequently although it might be that the, it, there really are only just taxis showing up in New York with the occasional other kind of vehicle <laughs> yeah there, there is a slight inconsistency Hmm. Hmm. We need to do an experiment here uh, because we need to know if you accomplish anything by doing a vehicle jump. So I'm going to call in a car. Yeah, I'll just take the am ambulance. And the there was a sound effect implying that they were going to animate the Lego car being built, but the camera was not pointing in any kind of direction that would have shown that. Which, once again, makes me feel like that's just yet another unfinished part about this. And this car does certainly look... Oops. Alright, so doing that did not get me anything. Good to know. Hmm. Right. 
So they said a suspect was fleeing the scene in a stolen truck. Hmm. So we're supposed to be catching this truck. Which Quicksilver is still the easiest character to Okay. Do I get a reward for that? Hmm. Okay. And then do this. Do this. And then do this. We're kind of going backwards. But whatever. Hmm. Hmm. They they put the gold bricks in these containers where the top should probably explode or fall backwards. It'd be interesting to see where this goes. Uh, in the Lego City game, there was uh, several uh, connecting tunnels that let them skip over highly mountainous ranges. Manhattan doesn't have that problem. And tunnels are kind of uh, ubiquitous. Alright. One, two, three, uh, one, three, five, two, four, one, three, five, two, four. I'm surprised I don't hear that sound effect more often. Hey, I'm walking here. Yeah, there, there's no point to lock in the Legos like that from the top. It's not like that prevents some form of cheating that I could recognize and so I guess or that I could think of this just goes out here and then this goes somewhere else hmm. so it seems to me like we do have a full subway system that then converts over to an overpass station. Somehow I got it stuck on Morse code. Anyway, keep an eye out hmm. for trouble in this area. So it's all about the radar stuff. Remember there being so many construction sites on the upper west side? Like we we just need to find things to do and not spend spend too much time. It seems like these trucks are always gonna be Quests. Hmm. But see, that's a kind of great example of them randomly having us do the same thing twice just because of my random movement around the city. Let's see what this guy offers. I have here a list of Shield's most wanted criminals. Hmm. I've been asked to assemble an elite squad of agents to go Agent after Sitwell. So I guess the idea here would be to stay in a specific borough or, or section, uh, not borough, but section of Manhattan. You can save me a lot of paperwork if you took care of them. Don't worry, hmm. I've got something to make it worth your while. What do you say? And taking these quests probably does let you bounce around a little bit because you will just have the a decent amount of things ah oh, man what am I trying to say you the red red dots will send you in different directions Let's see if Thor can break this yes he can Stop me, mortal! I will destroy you! 
So. Is it quicker to use quick speed to fight these characters? He's clearly programmed to not be defeatable until you take on the the sub Chitari people uh, or Dark Elves. I don't know if these are Dark Elves or Chitari or both. This is probably not the best character. I wonder if a smash character might be the best move. So you have to kind of avoid them so then you can hit them when they're down. And then you get only like one hit. And then you gotta take on four more people, which makes this a very long fight. Hmm. And it doesn't seem like there's too many ways to get some cheese hits in. But they sped it up a little bit. Thank goodness for that. Alright. Down here was a red brick. That I didn't actually... A gold brick I didn't actually collect. And then... Over this direction are several more things. And I guess you should probably do races too as their own separate thing. Oh, I'm stuck on the on the stairs. Hmm. Now in Lego City there was, you were, Lego City Undercover was the actual name of the game, come to think of it. Uh, you were playing as a disgraced criminal, so you did uh, actually uh, rob the ATM machines. In this case I don't think they're going to do that, I think you'd... They're just gonna have some places where, where you potentially can power up things near ATMs. Yeah. Yeah. Just an ATM machine that you can break if you so choose. But it doesn't even give you a lot of studs, which inherently makes it questionable whether the Lego studs themselves are something that other people interact with, or if it's the Lego $100 bills that are the actual currency in these Lego universes. And studs are just a video game conceit. Mm. But I think, at least in some LEGO games, they have mentioned the studs. Uh, or some characters directly have. Am I supposed to fight that guy? Nope. I'm supposed to beat up that guy. Hmm. What could you do? Get this guy has only four health, so perhaps you end up with easier characters to balance it out. So that's what you can do. Okay. And then run back this way does seem like hmm here's the guy 
now I'm seen crimson. I have no idea who any of these characters are, and that is definitely a problem with these Lego games with the, based on the Marvel Universe. I would say the DC Batman games, though, make up for that fairly well because they either make fun of those characters that are unrecognizable, or the unrecognizable characters are just so incredibly cheesy that... Um, that it's um, funny because of that like calendar man for instance is a great example like I really don't know anything about calendar man but obviously he's a silly uh, early Batman villain obsessed with dates hmm. so this is just going to be a follow the pattern sequence Which we may have to do multiple times. And I won't play as Quicksilver. That way, Quicksilver doesn't accidentally walk on a panel. This is kind of a great example of a different kind of puzzle that should have been in the levels uh, instead of in the open world. You don't. It would have been fairly easy to, to use a space this big. And then over here you have stuff that just doesn't matter there's absolutely nothing in this corner it's it's just a thing just something some potential intern may have made and you you run into the the problem that they can't just have every Lego game set in Manhattan. Like, y you just can't do that. Uh, so, while you could reuse this world, hmm. you, you could reuse this world for Marvel Universe stuff, you can reuse this world for, uh, for possibly uh, you can't really use it for DC because there isn't too much that's that's actually done hmm. okay so we know what happens here it's weird that the timer still plays while I'm in the menu but okay And can we move? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Seems to give me twenty seconds every time. Hmm. Um, where is the rest of this? Well, that didn't work. Hmm. If I fly up, can I lightning things? No. So there's like 11 of these these pieces that I imagine are supposed to be leftover uh, stuff from the Chitauri attack, like energy cells. Um, I imagine that's what they're supposed to be. And this really may be easy enough to break just as somebody like Quicksilver as it is to beat as let's see alright one in here so then the next question is where 
are the others? One back here. Hmm. I don't see it. Hmm. It's not way up here. Hmm. Is there one over here? Yeah. Okay. So let's try this again. Quicksilver this time. Quicksilver has the problem, of course, being easy enough to miss. So his precision is low. This is not the kind of challenge that you would want. You, you don't want it to to inevitably turn into a a luck fest where you have to repeat multiple times or a real challenge. Remember this is supposed to be a kids game. Right, 15 seconds to hit this while I do it. Yep. And I tried to switch to Quicksilver while that was, while I was collecting it, and it didn't let me do it, which probably is fine. But right, it definitely feels like there's something over there. The way you control flying creatures to get them to fly still feels very awkward. There's a lot of ladders, fire ladders, as I imagine there would be in New York. Hmm. We have to start here, which means we have to start here, which I think means we have to play as either Black Widow or Hawkeye. I think this probably is a Black Widow challenge. There definitely feels like a laid back aspect to doing the open world stuff that is fairly inconsistent with with what you experienced in the storyline, which was just all action all the time. Sometimes these bouncy things really fail to elevate you and you have to bounce on them quite a bit more than you would think you would need to. Press that and maybe that's a checkpoint. Or... I tried to press Y to switch to Quicksilver again and it didn't work. It just won't let you do that apparently while you're... So we'll play as Hawkeye and Hawkeye. It's weird that there's just bricks that break on the ground. Hmm. And we'll just go back to Ultron. And then hit the switch. Save ourselves some time. Yep. You do run in into an increasing, uh, well, actually decreasing desire to actually play the game the way it's designed. Here we have this guy, but we had already unlocked this guy. So it seems like we're going to see some characters multiple times. Hmm. 
and it looks like Ultron's attacks are pretty good because he has a laser beam attack he does on the third X. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. And at that point, we have something over here pointing us in one direction, which is probably a vehicle. Way over here. But we also had something pointing us in a different direction with the ghost studs. You've been a huge help. As I promised, take this. So we just unlocked Jack of Hearts, one of the British card gang, I believe is their name. Which there was a Batman animated series based around the card game and some of those British characters animated movies, maybe not part of the animated series, that I think were surprisingly well done. Hmm. Okay. We need to open this thing and that looks like one that would just be openable by Ultron and yet it's not and then we have all these pieces of stuff so there must be I guess maybe some target practice we have to do hmm. And I don't know if we have any actual time. Okay, it seems like... Yeah, that's just target practice. Not a bad idea. But take note, it is not putting you in that first-person perspective that they clearly were still working on. And this would have probably been in the main story if they did if they had gotten that to work better although the first person perspective shooting concept in a lego game makes no sense it barely makes any sense even in a kids game and i don't see any chance whatsoever of ever converting a Lego game into a non-kids game um, even if you were going to make an adult fans of Lego uh, focused L Lego game you still would need to make it extremely kid friendly and frankly I don't think that adult fans of Lego are out there screaming for something that isn't kid friendly we we mostly just want to see uh, bigger sets and better design sets uh, but if but we still kind of like the exact same themes that are done for the kids projects um, we're not out there screaming for like a 50 shades of gray lego sets or anything along that line man we are really still 900,000 short um, this requires Captain America. Just three more days till my retirement. I wonder if you'll stay here. Hmm. Can you scan these? No. So Black Cat, scan this to get a Captain America platform. Apparently there was two basically on top of each other. Now the co-op character is going to need to move out of the way. 
and Black Widow did that. Okay. Another gold brick. But certainly a question about where do you turn in the gold bricks. Hmm. You might get a decent number of studs if I play the level in free play and uh, then got all the mini kits because that used to be a thing, certainly. Hmm. Yeah, I think what we'll probably do after this recording is we will jump into some of the levels that we haven't done, some of the DLC levels. We'll see how those are um, and see if we go through the DLC levels in story mode, if that'll get us 800,000 in totality, which would then give us enough to... Let's see what this road trip is about. We haven't done one of these. Hmm. I've just been assigned the exciting task of driving out to the desert to pick up some sort of hmm. otherworldly wrench, I think. I haven't finished reading the case file yet. So, this is like picking up Thor's hammer. If you're free to tag along, I thought we could make a road trip out of it. What do you say? Okay. Alright, Lola. Let's get you filled up. This is Agent Coulson's car. It's not even nicely designed. Alright. Okay, so we have to drive, and I imagine we have to stay driving. And I imagine... Like, I suspect what we're going to have happen here is we're going to have to take it to the gas station and fill it up, and then once we get the car... Call... Once we get the car filled up with gas and, and ready to go. Okay. So we've got some bad guys. We have to take out 20 of. Let's see if we can use Black Widow to take out the guys faster than Ultron. Nope. Ultron is faster. He's He hits harder and does damage in one or two hits, whereas everybody else uh, do, takes considerably less. In, in Marvel Avengers fashion, you have a fight here that's gonna end up breaking everything around you. Um, and I'll try not to hit the car, but I imagine it's probably perfect. Uh, invulnerable. Not perfect, but invulnerable. Four more. I lost some momentum there. Couple more. There we go. You know, this seems to happen every time I stop for gas. Hmm. I'm starting to think it'd be easier to just catch a flight. Hmm. Sorry, I know you had your heart set on that road trip. Hopefully this will make up for the trouble. So, so yeah, that's as far as you go. Some donuts for the trip. This might take a while. And Colson's car does eventually fly. Uh, in the Agents of Shield show. We have a red dot here. Maybe we are supposed to control this car? I don't think so. So I don't know if this is an instance where Coulson was supposed to do something else or what? That seems weird. Then we have down here what looks like a Captain America requirement to activate that I 
And does that give you any specific time? No. So I'm fully willing to just cheat and fly fly to the to the location. Uh, we do need actually to make some of these. So. Alright, so we do need to either play as Black Widow or Hawkeye from this point. So we can do these things. This is actually really well well designed. Uh, it, it is simply designed this way to counter what I just tried to do, which would be the fly to the end and skip sections that I would I know there's just gonna be so much gameplay that it's not really worth the effort to to try to play all of the game the right way. Um, that being said, I want to go to space. Uh, if we look in the area totals of this uh, of Manhattan, we have 23 out of 150 mini kits. Which that seems weird that there's any mini kits. No, actually, that wasn't the area totals. That was the game totals. We have 29 of 140 gold bricks. We have 7 of 26 vehicles. We have 7 of 41 um, characters. And we've saved Stan Lee exactly zero times. I would like to instead go to space and try one of these smaller areas and try to clear it up. That way at least there's a small sense of a accomplishment here. I think the easiest one to do would be to just go to the shield base uh, because there's probably not that much here that being said Washington DC was also a particularly small area that was still cram packed with a lot of stuff and when you fall So let's start with this guy. Talk to him while we're invisible. Name's Jim Hammond. Hmm. You probably know me as the Human, Human Torch. Torch. As in the original, not. Hmm. Never mind. I've been in the superhero game since back when. Comic Different than the Human Torch from Fa Fantastic Four. Now, I've seen a lot of new heroes come through with hmm. fancy costumes, hmm. and gadgets, and I'll be darned if superheroing just ain't what it used to be in my day. Hmm. If you want to see a real hero in action, kid, then I suggest you follow old Torch on his rounds. Let's go! Alright. So. Hope you don't mind. I let these crooks out of their cells as part of the demonstration. He freed criminals. Just to beat them up. There was a combo with Black Widow from Black Widow, which there might be some kind of achievement around using the same character to do a combo attack. Probably should turn back to Ultron though, he's just a better fighter. And we're going to be doing a lot of fighting obviously. They're throwing a ridiculous amount of enemies at you every time. You, you can see how these are very arbitrary numbers. Uh, they, they don't correlate with the variety of enemies. There's really only two types of enemies that we're fighting. And they're not even changing the hairstyles. There we go. I like you. The truth is, with all these youngsters running around mm. fighting crime, an old flame like me can start to feel redundant. No good to get back to a simpler time. Just mono, a burning mono. I wonder if the running gag here is that there are multiple Human Torch characters besides just these two that all feel like old flames, which almost certainly that would have been the name of this and. Him as a character, he probably has only one outfit. 
So you 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 have this inconsistency that you'll run into with um, the variety of outfits characters have where, where big characters are going to have lots of outfits and small characters are not going to have anywhere as many outfits and i guess it's possible that humans can't walk through that green goo and maybe i needed to make a like cleaning vehicle and drive the cleaning vehicle over it Here we have Modoc, the machine designed for only for killing. Which they'll never tell you that. <laughs> That's not true, but okay. So, yeah, he's usually a bad guy, but I guess they will probably turn a lot of characters into good guys at some point in comic book history or just for the benefit of this game. Hmm. Let's see, he wants us to go this way. And then he opens this. Okay. So we need to then mentally control that guy. So let's get the B prompt. Press this button. And then walk him away, I guess. I'm not in control. So. I assume that's what I'm supposed to do. And then back to Mo to Ultron. He's he's good with these. And then Star. Okay, I'm supposed to hit the big red button to lock the star in between the lines. This could be a very difficult puzzle for little kids because of the timing mechanic. Uh, I wouldn't want to see that reused in Lego games. That, that's, that's a bad design choice uh, considering the age limit, the age, target age group. Yeah, and there's just so few kids games anyways. We desperately need more kids games. Uh, recently there was a re-release of Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Mario um, Galaxy 1. And it was a very poor emulated release of those games without any new features really or polish um, and that's really just a sad statement on what you can get away selling to kids particularly if you just put Mario on it <laughs> of course I would say it's an even sadder statement considering that there uh, were at least two or three major projects that were DMCA'd uh, because because Nintendo claimed a copyright on porting um, porting the uh, 
Mario 64 to like the Unreal Engine or the Unity Engine and putting new textures on it and, and putting uh, uh, using newer textures from newer games to improve it and instead of perhaps learning from that and competing against it they just use the Nintendo just used the law to stop those fan projects and then they sold a terrible effort instead hmm. yeah the idea of having no internet privileges in 2020 that would be insane even on a like highly classified base I, I would not be willing to work for shield with some kind of filter without some kind of filtered internet privileges of some sort and in fact even calling the internet a privilege is is kind of a disgusting idea right, we need a squirrel girl I think I don't think I have squirrel girl hmm Where would she be? I don't think I ever unlocked a character that was anything like Squirrel Girl. I can't imagine any of the other characters that I collected could dig. We may have hit as far as we can go. And we may have to run around the whole game looking for uh, dig spots. It still wouldn't be terrible. Let's see if some of the DLC characters might have something that would imply an ability to dig. Let's see if Black Panther can dig. Yeah. Black Panther can. Good. Thank goodness for that. There probably is another character. They can also dig. Good. I've been running an inventory mm. on our top secret artifacts following the Tesseract incident, which, mm. by the way, Damage Control have done an amazing job of cleaning up. Yeah, and there are a few things lost in the blast which are still unaccounted for. There's nothing quite as base, decimating, mm. serious as the Tesseract, but still things we'd prefer to keep out of the hands of Loki and the like. See what you can find. So this is just going to be a instance. That has us running around in general, which is fine. We needed to do that anyways. Let's come over here, and then do that. And. Is this breakable or do we need an explosion? We need an explosion. It really doesn't make any sense for the the main Avengers to not be at the front of this list uh, other than they just want you to have to scroll a lot that, that, that they're actively trying to waste your time and and promote the idea that you would try more characters. And of course that gets to the default internal conflict where if you don't want to spend an extra five hours playing a game like this, you, uh, playing any Lego game, you don't unlock the extra characters, you don't uh, bother to, to play it the way people would expect you to uh, the game developers want you to play it and I f I got a rubber duck there um, I feel like what they should have done is had you play as more random characters in the story missions uh, and they tried to do some of that in free play I suppose, but they don't really accomplish a lot of it. Like, 
ideally what you would want to have happen is you would want there to be a list where all the characters like Iron Man are on this first row so then you have Iron Man on this row then all the characters like Black Widow are on this row and then all the characters like a Hulk are on this row and that way you kind of have a periodic table of, ch of elements where rows mean something and columns mean something and the first column would be the team of the Avengers and then you could try and combine other characters in the next columns if that would work and even if it didn't you, you still would be able to find fairly easily figure out the types of characters you could play um, and even if the rows randomly rotated so you played as Thor because he was in that first slot on the third row and then it rotated so Thor was now in the last slot on the third row that would still be uh, fairly easy to figure out Um, you don't play much as Fury. Hmm. This is one of these tight small rooms that clearly they had an idea and they didn't fully think it through with the camera mechanic because there's never been a case where a Lego level could have four walls and the camera would have would be able to to m manipulate itself through those four walls um i hear stanley i don't see stanley okay He's down here, trapped in the elevator. So we freed Stanley. I'll show you how we do Lego games the Marvel way. When Stanley in peril is done, that just gives you a gold brick. this then we've got a glass thing and another predefined camera that might be what these areas are these open world areas really are they were experiments in there is a Ragnarok character uh, going by the name Ragnarok instead of an event called Ragnarok which is weird Um, can I start another mission while I'm on one mission? Why does nobody communicate around here? Hmm. This wasn't supposed to be confidential. And I, can I start a race when there's a race going on? I should probably not do any of the things over here on the right, and I should just find the remaining collectibles. Hulk, in, Hulk is annoying. Okay. Where is it hiding? Where are they? Hmm. I think I need to fly higher. We need to wrap up this challenge. That flies you back. Right, walk around here. So there we had what looked like a gas tank. And this may take you inside the base. So there might be a whole secondary section. 
and as far as collectibles notice this room is now empty in this instance and we have another dig thing and we'll just stick with Black Panther as his as his thing. The the actor um, who played Black Panther in the cinematic universe died, I believe, of like pancreatic cancer, and certainly that was a deal that affected a lot of people. Although there's really nothing to say in relation to a Lego game based off the cinematic universe, other than there almost certainly won't be a cheap attempt to have Black Panther replaced with another actor. They will instead almost certainly follow what the comic books did at one point, which was have the sister in the story replace, become the new Black Panther. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if there actually just isn't another Black Panther movie, because... Um, well, his death might actually cause a Black Panther 2 to happen, but I w also wouldn't have been surprised if there was just nothing on the books because he was a non-main character uh, that was fairly popular and he might get promoted to a main character, but when they first greenlit that movie, they definitely never had any intention of, of making a major uh, trilogy out of it like they did Iron Man um, on the other hand you do need characters that are popular as they are probably losing the actors for Thor and Iron Man and Captain America and all of them so if the next generation of Avengers was led by the sister of the Black Panther and who would be playing the new Black Panther that might work but it also might just be incredibly sad and that's the danger is you don't want a, a fun action movie to suddenly become sad because because someone in the real world died and inherently that is the problem with all of these live action movies and there's a kind of an inherent failure in Western society to to ever gain any respect or appreciation for animation where comic books would be way better if they were animated uh, movies um, that way you could fairly easily replace the voice actors and and half of the people at least would not even recognize it and the other half would mostly not care at least for a few decades um, and there is a weird dual issue that certainly is happening now where cartoons are felt to be for kids by adults which okay fair enough that's wrong but uh, let, let's just embrace that thought but now Disney is not even making cartoons anymore. They're making live action remakes of their cartoons. So at what point do you then admit that the animation industry is almost completely dead because they've there there is no generation of characters. Uh, there's no generation of fans that want to watch cartoons um, certainly you can make other arguments that why is this not working maybe I've got the wrong Hawkeye I can't believe it's really you. Hmm. hmm. So we have a kind of shiny silver object that either needs to be opened by Ultron or I can't open it because I didn't use the Hawkeye arrows to get to this point. I guess maybe I can't open it because I can't I didn't use the Hawkeye arrows. Alright, so 
Let's do this the way the game wants us to do it. Ah, did it change anything? No. Hmm. Let's say to jump on 12 poles. Yeah, I don't know if this gl this is glitched or what. Um. Let's think. Is there an ability that would make sense here? Break this, this, and then this, and then this. Hmm. What's that say? And we are on, um, as far as options. Hints always on, so maybe we'll turn those to dynamic and see if maybe that helps. Hmm. Hmm. I, is there another character that would blow things up that I know? Like, almost certainly there is a character that will blow things up, but. Well, apparently just pressing the B button was all that needed to happen. Something weird is happening here. Let's shoot an arrow over there. That doesn't blow up. Yeah, there's just something inherently glitched about that. And we'll probably have to leave the area and come back. Alright, whatever. Let's not waste any more time on it. Let's see. Why does nobody communicate around here? Hmm. Let's start this mission. And this will very possibly have us run around. Hmm. Sort of collapse in on itself. <clears throat> Established shield agents like myself take these things in our stride, but I imagine it's scary stuff for those less familiar in our day to day workings. Hmm. So, but agents that well, respect. a number of rookie agents haven't been home or reported to work since hmm. the incident. I believe they're still hiding somewhere in the base. Interesting. Find, would you? So, now we're finding people, and the agents' homes are apparently monitored. Uh, honestly, I would just hate the idea of working for. It's not exactly a short walk let's let's see if we can do a race while we're in the middle of a other thing. Seems like you can. That's good information to find out. I think I need to move the camera around so I can see where I'm going. Yeah. Just the idea of being spied on by by your employer. And there's too much of that that happens even if you're just working a regular job. Let alone working for a secret agency that would have the... Um, would have the ability to spend a lot of effort on it. There's a shield butt 4x4. Four four. And you can hmm. Maybe there's something about that character that Is she down that way? 
Oh, there he is. A Hulk door, if I can walk kind of in the opposite direction. So that Hulk will. <clears throat> so there's somebody hiding back here. Now when this hits something that's not explodable, it doesn't do anything. When it hits a tree, it will explode. There's a character token for a firebird. There's a lot of fairly awkward attempts at um, inclusive characters in the Marvel and DC universe. Um, frankly, it is extremely generous to say they were inclusive characters in their original iterations at all and then were aren't actually just like 100% stereotype characters designed to play on stereotypes and propagate st stereotypes which are hurtful uh, because you're just spreading uh, fake false information about people and, and generalizing people in general which is not a good idea hmm. and it, because of so many characters like that existing in the Marvel and DC universe you kind of want to remake them and, and try to do good by those type of characters because you also do have this desire this is a one of those satellite arrays didn't realize that um, you, you want to do b good by that those communities and try to try to have a character that that can positively represent like Native Americans for instance uh, but also that requires such precise and well thought out writing that you almost always will get criticized for doing that anyway so it is easier to just do nothing at all uh, a example of that is Blue Beetle as a character in the new 52 for DC um, he's a Central American character or at least um, Central American ancestry character and his comic books never succeeded or went anywhere hmm. it's funny that one of the guys says I wanted to be a voice actor because it's a voice actor saying saying that hmm. and then you have like Camilla Khan who I would argue runs into a bit of a problem in that she is both representing being a person of Middle Eastern origin and I think being a person of Middle Eastern uh, Islamic religious beliefs whereas they have long since eliminated any references that Captain America was like a good Christian American where I'm sure at some point that was definitely implied and said um, and I think religion in particular is is a subject that you're going to have to be very careful approaching and I don't think they probably have done that as well as they should have right, so I'm playing as Loki and I should be able to do a freeze beam but man the, the build up on that is incredibly slow holding down the B button that, that was really really slow I'm not sure if I actually even needed that like why did I build a freeze beam? Hmm. 
Yeah, there's kind of nothing here. Hmm. Feels like there was a freeze beam there for kind of. I guess maybe you have to freeze multiple things. Or maybe these multiple things were freezable as as a way of indicating. Hmm. So yeah, I don't know if the idea here is you're supposed to freeze this machine. It doesn't feel like it. It works that way. Let's see what this hint says. Hold the B button to freeze puddles. I don't know if I'm supposed to get this edge. This wasn't supposed to be confidential. Yeah, that was a real bad design. An easy, easy way to fix that is simply not have this pipe here. Just eliminate that pipe completely and it's way easier to see and target what you're supposed to shoot and that really goes to show that there is a lack of even giving some of the stuff a second pass because that should have been blatantly obvious i think this is the one that ultron can open and only ultron can open or And you have to hold down B. They need to fix the prompts too. This is ridiculous. That I've run into sections and I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright. So. We'll just see if we can cheat our way all the way through this. press this and then press this and then jump over here for that one and land on top of the rail hmm. I'm jumping past half of these things what character is that? Union Jack. And it does seem like you will run into character tokens that also um, will be characters that you interact with later on and are given a mission for. Okay, so this is a puzzle where you have to pull the lever when it's green. That's, that almost feels like that's an X-Men specific puzzle, but I don't hate it. Um, that's quick and interactive and easy enough to figure out. Um, you might need a, a little bit of a hint around that. Having two of them to trigger is too much, but otherwise that's a fine idea. Wait, what is... The blues are the, not the ones we care about. So we just have three purples. We have a mission we need to turn in because we've freed, rescued all the people. And then we may have a race that we still need to do. But otherwise, I think we're done with this area. I doubt any of the agents will have left the base. It's not exactly a short walk hmm. to the next town, after all. So, everybody accounted for? They should have had them stand more out of the way. Calling us every five minutes. Hmm. Yeah, that's right, you selfish coward. Think of your poor families. <laughs> it's weird they all have helmets on. Having to listen to that stupid 
room every hmm. five minutes. <clears throat> Sorry, where was I? Oh, right. Thanks a lot for helping us out. Take this. Hmm. And that gives us Agent Sitwell as a character. Yeah, there kind of is no way this works, is there? Like, I'm not going to unlock any of the characters until like the very end of the game, so I'm not going to be able to play most of the characters, and this is how it goes with every LEGO game. Uh, but for the Marvel superheroes in particular, that's a fairly big loss. Because I would like to at least know the name of these characters. It would be a much quicker hmm. job if someone with a bird's eye view of the place would point them out to you. Are hmm. you free to help me out with this? So we got another mission. Which I think he's gonna use a jackhammer. So I don't know what I'm supposed to be pointing out. Alright, we're supposed to be pointing out these piles of debris and he's gonna jackhammer them. Unlike Lego City Undercover where there's an entire mini game where you were using a jackhammer and uh, propelling yourself on it forward. I like that mini game. I, I, they shouldn't have gotten rid of it or they should have brought it over. He's like way over there. Is that actually gonna break this? Next, boss? He apparently did hit something over there and I didn't see it. Hmm. We don't really have a bird's eye view though. We, we just have the radar and you are just playing the game 100% by radar at this point. Yeah, there's I kind of would like it to be able to be more of a self-discovery experience but then I think the world will also would have to be a lot smaller I, I don't think there's any getting around it um, and I, I suspect the radar that we see here it was added fairly late in the game development as a way of fixing a, a major stumbling block that I imagine a lot of players would have had. Like trying to do this specific mission without a radar pointing you in directions would have been really hard. Although you don't need a radar, you just need a general indicator of directions. Um, which they seem to have mostly abandoned the ghost studs and the just pointers. And they just jumped to a cutscene. Hmm. Entire cities like they that was made of Legos. Hmm. I guess maybe they never have referenced the word Lego. Hmm. Yeah, that's a... No, that guy is not damage control. Damage control is a group of people, but he's he's gonna represent him, I guess. Hmm. Alright, let's see what this does. It summons a guy. And we're just gonna fight. I was trying to switch... Uh, and you can't switch in these kind of fights, which are different than the other kinds of fights where I think you could have switched. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this feels like this is going to be a fairly quick fight. But you can also tell that Black Widow is getting a lot of combo hits on him and they're not counting. Which kind of 
is is the problem with the heart system is that it has long since become irrelevant and inconsistent and they they've had such power creep that um, they you you're giving characters like Korvac who I don't even know or recognize a ton of health probably just to appease fanboys who would have said Korvac is a lot stronger than some other character there's nothing down here and you can kind of tell that there would have been something down there if this was going to be a bigger level all right but we did accomplish something but we're not really accomplishing anything fast uh, we've gotten everything in this base so there's no longer any reason to come back to this area um, and let's see if we were going to go to space and then go to Manhattan that would just be a load screen and then a load screen and it's not even where I want to go um, what we need to be able to do is we need to go well, let's just check one thing out here can we get to the helipad from a location like this I bet the answer is no that would be interesting if there was a teleporter that would bump you up to the helipad but no it doesn't exist and the only other place it could be would be near this blue dot we can see we don't have that either and we must have just already collected the thing that needed to be collected up over here and it must have just respawned that chest because it's not marked on the map nor are we uh, or, nor are we missing anything which man that, that angle is not working Let's see if this works I can't put any arrows on it but I can't get up there either yeah I must have just blown up that that thing and then come on a a a I must have been pointing in a direction yeah this might just this must just be a phantom thing yeah that has to be ju just a phantom thing okay all right so we made good progress except for in the studs it, it kind of clearly is a case that we need to do the dlc levels to get up to two million so that we can then go get the red brick and get more of a multiplier overall we're now at 23 percent 41 of 196 characters uh character tokens unlocked uh only one go red brick only two Stanley Simperl, only two Marvel Avengers, uh, uh, true Avengers, uh, 57 of 250 gold bricks, and only 23 of 150 mini kits. Uh, so there definitely is a lot of room for progress. Although, if we are going to in the next recording, and yes, we are, uh, do the DLC extra levels, then all we're going to really be doing is the story so we'll get maybe a hundred thousand and if each uh, hundred thousand per level and if each level plays like a regular level then it probably will take between 30 minutes to an hour to do each level and that would mean individualized levels uh individualized episodes but yeah, I think that is the right move. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. 
As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. And if you want to support me further, there's a link to Patreon. Or you can friend me on Steam and get to me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.